Another short presentation from the PLC eUniversity website. What is a PLC? This is the 13th in the Factory Rat series. This one's on an instruction that remembers, the one-shot instruction. We're working with the default database. Doesn't matter what your brand of PLC is, it's all basically the same. For the one-shot instruction, we need to use a bit for that one-shot instruction, and it should be a bit from either a binary file or an integer file. Both the B3 and the N7 files, you can address those memory locations at the bit level. Let's start by adding a new rung user, drag it down, or we could have double clicked Click on the next instruction that we want in OTE. Put the focus back here. Click on the one-shot instruction. Put the focus on the OTE. Go back to user. Just select rung brand. Drag the OTE in between. And around that OTE, I'm going to put an OTL. Put some addresses. I.O. memory locations. And then to the one-shot instruction, I'm going to assign it to bit B3 slash 0. Each one-shot instruction needs its own unique bit memory location. I added an additional rung of logic that I can use to unlatch output 1 after we've demonstrated the nature of the one-shot instruction. Created these rungs offline. I'm going to verify and download. Downloaded online in the run mode. We want to be able to observe B300. Double click on B3 and then up here on that logo, click on that and click on on top. That way it won't disappear. If you change the focus, this little pop-up will stay right in front on top. We want to exercise this logic. This bottom rung is to unlatch our bit trap here. This instruction and this rung are there to help us look at the one-shot instruction. They have nothing to do with the one-shot instruction. I'm going to turn on input zero, and I want you to watch this memory location right here, output zero. As I turn it on, notice that you do not see output zero come on. The rung looks true. Input zero is on, so that instruction is true, but it shows that the output is not on. But it does show that output one is on. That's because the OTE has a true and a false execution. This instruction, the OTL, the latch instruction, only has a true execution. So when this rung went true for one program scan, a couple thousandths of a second, it did turn on that bit. But the very next program scan, a couple thousandths of a second later, this rung was false because this is a one-shot instruction. However, when this rung went false, it did not affect the state of output one because it has a true only execution. Whenever you're trying to trap whether or not something occurred, i.e. did the output zero ever go on even for one scan, you can branch around and put a latch instruction with a unique memory location. It doesn't have to be an output. I just use that so the light lights up on my training system. Now if I want to reset that and do it again, now you see it's all reset. Input zero is still on. What I want you to notice is as long as the rung in condition to the one shot is true, B30, that memory location stays on. Now you can't see that in the logic when you're monitoring it. You would have to open up the file and actually look at that bit to see that that's true. Because when the input zero, I'll put it false, now you see that this bit went off. What happens is the very first scan that this instruction, the one shot instruction, sees a wrong true in from whatever's over on this side, it sets this bit to one and it gives a wrong true out that then this OTE executes to turn on output zero. But the very next program scan, it comes back around, it sees that this is true, but when it gets here, it sees that it's already set to one from the previous scan, so you get a rung false out. That rung false out then, the OTE executes a reset action, and it stays just like that until the conditions on the left side of the one shot go false and then back true again. Executes on a false to true change of state. In summary, the one-shot instruction on the first scan that it sees a wrong true in condition puts a wrong true out condition. But on the next scan, if the wrong is still true in, 
then it puts a false out. One shot instruction. Keep in mind this bit trap. This is an excellent troubleshooting tool. When you're working with logic on the shop floor and you look at the rung and you can't tell if it ever went true or not. Throw in a bit trap. You can use any unused bit in memory and you will be able to verify whether the rung did or did not actually go true. And that is how the one-shot instruction works. We have a more detailed, relaxed explanation of the one-shot instruction at our PLC eUniversity website under Virtual Classrooms, under Programmable Logic Controllers in that Virtual Classroom.